Beach Vitex is a coastal invader on our dunes and is listed as a state noxious weed, making it a regulated plant. Vitex is a fast growing plant with long runners and was originally imported from Korea in the 1980s. It was thought that it might help stabilize dunes along the southeastern coast. It has purple blooms and silvery leaves that some homeowners were interested in for their landscaping. Unfortunately, Beach Vitex outcompetes most native plants. The plant spreads easily and has a shallow root system. It doesn't seem to have the same dune stabilization as our native American beach grass or sea oats, meaning that our dune system is not as stable or as strong as we would like it in the event of a storm. On the Outer Banks, a task force was formed in 2008. Since that time, that task force has been disbanded. However, Beach Vitex has reappeared. It has appeared in Duck, as well as Southern Shores and Kitty Hawk. Working with the State Agriculture Department, groups of municipal staff and volunteers have been locating and working to eradicate Beach Vitex. Jared Driscoll and his colleagues, Joe Davenport and David Pierce, came to Duck in early November to help train town staff and volunteers on eradication methods. So what are we looking for when we're looking for beach vitex? We are looking for a plant that has runners, that has silvery purple leaves with purple berries when it's in season, which is typically in August. You're gonna see it on the beach. You could see it next to your house. Some of the places that we have identified beach vitex have been closely related to areas with a lot of Russian olives. They can easily be confused because the leaves have a silverish color to them. They are completely different. So you need to be able to distinguish between the two. Russian olives are gonna grow up tall and they're gonna have a fragrant smell. Beach vitex is not going to have a smell unless you pull the leaf and scratch it. Russian olives also won't have purple berries like beach vitex. If you see the, the berries in the plants, chances are if you follow that strand, you're gonna see a, a host of runners throughout the ground that are typically woody with some bark on them. What do you wanna do if you identify some beach vitex? First, you don't wanna to try to prune it and you certainly don't wanna burn it and you don't wanna try and kill it by yourself. Or there is a very complicated process to try and eradicate this species. If you attempt to do you know, trimming or pulling it out, there's a good possibility that you will likely cause the plant to spread even further. What we would like for you to do is contact your local municipality and or the State Department of Agriculture. They have trained volunteers that can assist with proper application, herbicides, and they know what they're looking for how to properly treat these plants. The key to fighting beach vitex and preserving our important native dune plants is the help of everyone that spends time on the beach. Identification and reporting can keep our dunes growing and stable for the future. Don't hesitate to call us, even if you're not sure. We can make a site visit, we can make that determination and get it to the proper channels as needed.